elaborately carved doorways, enormous Buddha heads, beautiful statues and remains of great buildings. These are the some of the things that you will see at the Ratnagiri Archaeological Complex in Jajpur district of Odisha. The Ratnagiri Archaeological Complex is unique as it is here that the Vajrayana school of Buddhism first developed and then spread across Asia. We take you on a journey to the Ratnagiri Archaeological Complex. This spectacular doorway, elaborately carved out of a greenish chloride stone, is considered one of the most beautiful entrances in India. It is an entrance to the great monastery of Ratnagiri in Jajpur district of Odisha. Located 97 kilometers northwest of Bhuvneshwar, the Ratnagiri Buddhist complex is a part of a series of monasteries which flourished in the region between the 5th and the 13th centuries. It is from these monasteries that the Vajrayana form of Buddhism first developed and then spread across Asia. 25 kilometers away from the town of Jajpur is a protected archaeological site which looks a bit deceptive at first. As we climb a long flight of steps up a hill, we are greeted by a site of numerous votive stupas. These are commemorative stupas dedicated to great teachers and scholars who taught and lived here. But what is particularly eye-catching is that each of these stupas has a relief of a tantric goddess carved onto them. It perhaps gives us a glimpse of what lies ahead. Beyond these votive stupas lies the remains of the great monastery complex of Ratnagiri which once comprised of the great Mahastupa, three large monasteries and viharas and numerous other religious shrines. The Ratnagiri archaeological complex flourished during the rule of the Bhomakara dynasty which ruled the region between the 8th to the 10th centuries. Students and monks from all over Asia came to study and teach here. Apart from religious studies, art and culture was also taught here as can be seen from the numerous artifacts found here. It is at the entrance of Monastery No. 1 that you see the exquisitely carved green chloride doorway, one of the loveliest in India. On its left is a statue of Goddess Yamuna, which is perhaps one of the most wonderful reliefs of the river goddess found in India. As we enter the green doorway, we come into the main courtyard, which would have once served as a classroom for the monks and students who lived here. Around the courtyard are 24 cells, which once served as residential quarters for the monks. In the center of monastery number no. one is a shrine that contains a large statue of Buddha carved in stone. Within the monastery courtyard are numerous remains of enormous Buddha heads, which gives an idea of just how grand and opulent Ratnagiri must have been in its prime. Flanking the main monastery is monastery number two, a smaller monastery in a similar layout which also contain residential cells around a courtyard and a shrine in the center. Facing these monasteries is the Mahastupa which served as the center of worship. Around the Mahastupa we find several small votive stupas, some of which are intricately carved with different motifs and designs. Following the decline of Buddhism in the region from 13th century onwards, Ratnagiri lost its patronage and over time fell into oblivion. It was only thanks to the efforts of the Archaeological Survey of India that the complex was rediscovered in 1950s. Today, Ratnagiri is a protected ASI site and very popular with visitors. So don't forget to visit this historically important Buddhist site in Jajpur.